Well, February uh, 6th out here. Um, I didn't get out here yesterday, but I'm back out here this afternoon. Anyway, uh, yeah, we got typical Oregon weather. Um, rainy, kind of windy, and uh, it's decent, decent temperature, upper 40s probably. The ground is just saturated everywhere around here. Um, yeah, I was uh, going to go back up the truck. I got to do some shrinking. And uh, anyway, when I was doing the shrinking on this panel, a couple people said I could probably use a shrinking hammer. And uh, I think it was Greg Porter told me it was very similar to a uh, carpenter's framing hammer. And uh, being the tool junkie that I am, I came up with one. Well, it's not in my hammer drawer. Most of my ball peens are laying around, but, uh, oh, okay. I put it in my body, body tool drawer. And, um, what I came up with was this hammer. Um, I'm a tool junkie, and I always search for the, uh, clearance stuff. Uh, I used to work for a retailer, and I always would hit the clearance every anyway, time. Uh, original price on this guy, twenty six ninety nine. They knocked that down to twenty two ninety seven. They knocked that out, and I picked it up for four ninety seven. Um, nice hammer for four ninety seven. I always search the clearance. And now, uh, you know, I no longer work there, but I have a friend that still does. And so he checks out the clearance for me and lets me know when stuff is uh, getting out of there. But uh, this is what I picked up. It's uh, heavier than I want for using on the body. I've noticed that uh, the top of it has wood down inside the head. So I'm thinking I might be able to cut this head off and put a wooden handle on it which will be far lighter than this big thing um, you know I don't need to slam this metal that hard and I prefer a lighter hammer and more controllable and I might even shave some of those hooks off of there but uh, I'm gonna give this a try just to uh, see if it works better than a plain body hammer I was kinda pounding around my heated spot working it towards the center and then giving it a smack but I'll give this one a try and see what's up. The first thing I got to do here is uh, get the wood out of this thing and uh, yeah, see what's in there. It looks like a couple wedges. See how deep the, the wood goes down into this head here. Okay, well I got that out of there, so it looks like it goes clear down into this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and see what I've got to play with. nice to get rid of this. But I'm going to use that for something. I just don't and know. I guess we can see. I got a place once I clean it up I should be able to put a, a wooden hammer handle. It's still fairly substantial and I may take off some of the back of this. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. I don't know about the, uh, yeah, it's it's head heavy regardless, so uh, it's not much of a balancing thing, so. Anyway, I'm going to clean that up with a file, 
and see what's up. Okay, this uh, hammerhead is much smaller on the handle side than it is on the other side, so I'll have to wedge the heck out of it. Um, came up with this handle. Um, down here at the thin part, it's still large enough to uh, be this shape here on the bottom. So I'm going to uh, cut it to fit all the way through at that shape and then I'll wedge the heck out of it and the way I'm going about shaping this I'm just going to use this uh, I guess it's a wood rasp I use it on Bondo quite frequently but uh, yeah so I'm going to go ahead and just use this guy well I got my uh, hammerhead on there and uh, down and I think it's going to work out good it's a lot lighter than it was um, I still may shave these ears off a little bit, but I'll wait and see on that. But the way that head's shaped, it's super tight down here, but it's tapered out at the top end. You can see you got a big gap on either side here. What I think I'm going to do with this is go ahead and cut some uh, some uh, handle oak, whatever hickory, probably hickory wedges, put down with some glue down in there let it get good and solid and then I'll put my metal wedge in rather than splitting this whole thing out I think I'll put some some wooden wedges on the edges here uh, hardwood and then once they're all in and and dry and everything I'll pound them down in on either side um, with some glue once that's all dry I think I'll go ahead and put my metal wedge in it um, and I think that'll uh, hold her in there pretty good so that's what I'm going to do Yeah, that's pretty good wedgie. Okay, here's my two wedges. I don't know if I'm even recording. I am. My two wedges. So I'm going to get some, uh, oh, what they call exterior, uh, wood glue and put those down in there okay that's what we got nice and tight pounded those wedges down in there with some glue in between the main and the little wedgies and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a metal wedge in there and I have an idea this hammerhead won't come off uh, much better feeling for using to control smack. I'm not driving 20 penny nails with this guy. Uh, it's for sheet metal work so um, doing sheet metal work you need a little finesse something which I don't have but I'm trying to uh, learn and and uh, perfect. Uh, for now I'm going to use it the way it is and see how it works out. I know that in tight places this big uh, bunch of crap's going to be in my way and it'd be a far better deal down here and I may cut that back to the bottom of this V and blunt it off I'm not sure but uh, for now there you go thanks for watching